preview week nine in the NFL here at SBR Forum Videos. I'm Peter Loshek. We're talking right now with Dave Golikoff, who's uh, given us great NFL previews all season long and last year as well. He's also a senior sports columnist for AskMen.com. Dave, the second game that you uh, suggested you have uh, at least a slight lean on um, this week is Cardinals at the Packers. Now, to me, to my eye, this is a total, total stay away game. I mean, the Packers, you know, they're an 11-point home favorite. Obviously, they're a very good team, but their offense is, is having some issues now. They've got some injuries at receiver. Their run game's not getting it done. Then the other side, the Cardinals, I mean, they, you know, the Cardinals were a huge dog last week against uh, San Francisco. Didn't even come close to covering. So um, I guess if I had to pick, make, pick a side here, I would go with the Packers being, you know, a legitimately good NFL team going up against, uh, you know, Cardinals, legitimately sucky NFL team. But then again, you have the double-digit, you know, favorite issue going on. I don't know. What do you what do you like here? Well, I just like the value with the Cardinals. It's just hard for me not to look back at last week and see what transpired at Lambeau Field and not like the Cardinals. I mean, I just thought last week Green Bay would smoke the Jacksonville Jaguars. Blaine Gabbert is flat-out crap. He's probably equal to John Skelton or if not worse or maybe a little bit better who knows they're about the same and the Jags didn't even have a running game to speak of as Maurice Jones Drew was out so uh, Jags don't even have a receiver like Larry Fitzgerald to you know to help the offense out so I think that Arizona is equal to Jacksonville if not a little bit better especially on defense so i just not comfortable laying this many points with the Packers. That's really all it is. I just see the value in the line. Um, but I know what you're saying. Like the, the, the detractors who ripped the Cardinals, I fully get it. They were complete crap on Monday Night Football. Um, they, can't, they haven't moved the ball in like four weeks. So uh, this could be a problem for them. Ten points might not be a lot to cover for Green Bay if their offense is working and Arizona's isn't. But, you know, again, like I said, I just watched the game last week, and I was very disappointed that Green Bay didn't blow out Jacksonville. So I think that gives Arizona a pretty good shot to cover. Well, but uh, don't you think the Green Bay gets at least a little bit of a pass in that game because, you know, they were coming off of three straight road games, and, you know, so they did get the win. They didn't, obviously, 16-point spread was insane. I actually uh, like the Jags, although uh, I, I admit I didn't have the, the balls to uh, bet it. I just <laughs> made them my pick in my spreadsheet. But I feel like that was sort of a down week for the Packers, and they get a little bit of a pass for a flat uh, performance then, whereas, like, the Cardinals, like, when they have a flat performance, that's just who they are. Well, yeah, you know, you're, you're right. Like I said, it's not a strong play. Mm -hmm. I just like the value there. I think that Arizona is going to show up for this game after getting uh, out physical by San Francisco, by, uh, after getting embarrassed on, on a national audience on Monday Night Football. And the Packers are not nearly as physical. Uh, listen, I'm grasping for straws, <laughs> right. I admit it. I, I just like the line. I like the value okay. with Arizona. But, um, you know, after playing such a physical team, like San Francisco, it should be much easier to play the Packers and move the ball on a relatively softer defense than playing San Francisco on Monday night. So I, I do see some value here. Again, if Jacksonville can move the ball on Green Bay, Peter, me, right. you, and your cameraman can get you know at least 20 points on this team too. So uh, I, I like the cards plus the points. All right. Thanks so much for this preview, Dave. The official lean is a very, very, very small lean on Cardinals plus 11. Thanks, Dave. We'll talk to you next week.